All right, guys, I just got this uh, the other day from Lowe's. It's a VacMaster Professional 9-gallon portable wet-dry shop vac. It's the uh, VacMaster number VJF912PF0201. Uh, it's the Lowell's item number 2985700 and the Lowell's model number VJF912 PF0201. Now something I didn't know is before I bought this I actually called VacMaster with a couple questions and uh, uh, they had said that Lowe's is going to be stocking their sweepers because I had never heard of them before but they said they've been making them for a long time they looked really nice and uh, he said that uh, when um, ShopVac, the actual company ShopVac went out of business and I didn't know that so he said that's why they're bringing this Factmaster line in and I did check with the uh, one of the managers at the local Lowe's and he said that they will be bringing in accessories and this and that because I wanted to check to see what the cost of a uh, filter was I didn't see any filters there uh, and uh, I called the company and they said they were 1995 it's a big filter I'll show you so anyways the Lowe's are supposed to get all their accessories in but like I said I was very shocked that shop vac had went out I have sh shop shop vac sweepers I'm very happy with them and a couple things here, some specs that the website says before I show you this. This is, as I said, a 9-gallon tank, and it has 4.5 peak horsepower motor. And uh, the tank is made out of polypropylene, the material. It does come with a 10-foot power cord uh, with storage. It does convert to a blower if you need that. And they're saying that the reach is 17 feet cleaning reach with the hose and power cord. So that's an interesting way to put it, 17 foot reach. I would count the reach as from the outlet on the sweeper. But they're saying that it's 17 foot cleaning reach with hose and power cord. And um, so it does have an extra large drain port, which is really nice. And the airflow is 101 CFM. The power cord length is 10 feet. The primary hose is 7 feet, the actual suction hose. And the hose diameter and accessory diameter is 1 and 7 eighths of an inch. The unit weight is said to be 21 and a half pounds, 12 amps, and the warranty is a 3-year limited. You do get the operator's manual, and the nice thing about it is on page 17, you get a schematic <clears throat> showing all the orderable parts. So that makes it valuable if you need anything. And then on page 18, it references all the part list of what those numbers are so that you can order it. So I like that. So it does allow you to order parts if something gets damaged or lost. So as you can see, it has storage on the bottom of the casters. Plus it also has storage on the top side of the motor. And you have a coil wrap so that you can put your holes on top like that makes it very convenient to store that hose. You get a utility nozzle. Now one thing that I wish it came with was a crevice tool. And I don't have one and seven eighths inch diameter accessories. So 
I've got to wait for it to come out at the store. You get a floor nozzle. And it has inserts that fit into these tabs so that you can actually make it a squeegee. And then they also have a brush attachment that you see here. And the way that would work is they would just fit inside here like this. Just snaps in. And to take it out, you push out on this tab out towards the edge. Push that, and then push this down, and that insert will come out then. Somewhat interesting. I assume it would make it easier if this wore, you just buy this part, and you don't have to buy the whole unit. Now you get two extension wands. The overall length from end to end is 16 and a half inches. And here you see the uh, holes. Now the material, it's a nice, uh, it's more than just, it's got a nice feel to the outside of it. It's, I'm not sure it's a plastic of some type, but it's got a really super smooth feel to it. And this is where your accessories would go on and this end here and then on the other end we have the attachment point that locks into your sweeper outlet and the way that would work is you see right here you push it in and then twist it so that it would lock and won't uh, come out and that is nice because I've had I've got quite a few other shop uh, sweepers and that's one of the things about them because you're always going to pull on the holes you know to pull the sweeper along and I've had them pop out like that so this should alleviate that so let me show you what I'm talking about you'll see that tab and there's one on both sides this is the uh, suction side and also on your blower side so you would line where that arrow is, put that on there like that. You'll see the tab there, and then just twist it. Now, I like that because, like I said, I've had it many times where you know you're pulling your sweeper and it just pulls out. Can't happen this way. Now, here's the blower side that you would hook your holes up to if you wanted this to act as a blower it's on the opposite side and while we're on that side what I like too is that your cord it has this attach uh, where you can anchor your cord to when you're done using it I like that now here's a close-up of the one side um, where you would uh, wrap your holes around now that doesn't push in so you can't push this into the unit if you wanted to to get it out of the way or anything not that it is but it's it's permanent right there here you see one of the tabs to release the top side of your tank of your motor unit so that if you want to clean out the canister of your debris that you've swept up or you want to change the filters or anything so on each side you have one of these you simply push in like you see there Push in on the other side, and that will lift up out of the way, giving you access to cleaning the canister, changing the filter, cleaning the filter, and then once you get both sides lined up like that, simply just push down. Okay, guys, and here's your switch. And your handle area. I like that handle. It gives you plenty of room 
it's wide enough you get your hand under there you can even get a gloved hand underneath here to lift up the sweeper now the four casters are not big at all they're approximately 7 16 inch wide by about 1 and 7 8 inches in diameter and you have four of them just like this obviously and for what it's for they work fine but they're 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 a little smaller than I thought they would have been but I guess for this size um, sweeper you know the sweeper isn't all that big but it, they roll fine and since this is a wet dry vac it does have a drain port on the bottom nice generous size and the cap does include a gasket there's a gasket in there you can see next we're going to take a look at the filter now you do get a foam filter for wet applications then you've got your dry filter here for your dirt dust and debris now to replace or clean the filter you have this knob right here you would just simply turn it like that and then this knob is part of this exterior uh, ring here that holds the filter and so you just pull on it like that and then you have access to removing the filter and you can see how that mates into here to lock it in and so then we'll just remove the filter and the one side is flat obviously that goes to the top of the sweeper and then the lip part is to the bottom so that that way the retaining piece pushes up against that and like I said I had called the company to get a price a replacement filter like this was 1995 plus they had shipping and tax and uh, my local Sears or uh, Lowell store did say that they were going to stock these. Now, when I bought this, that they weren't in stock yet. And these are you can't you cannot uh, wet these. These are a paper element, but you can blow them off in, inside and outside to clean them up as required. All right, let's turn this thing on and see what it sounds like. This is the exhaust if you want to use this for blowing. Now watch when you turn this thing on how it moves the sweeper from the air. Well guys, it wouldn't be proper without some kind of a test. So I've got a bunch of these stones, five gallon bucket, bucket of stones. Let's see how this works. Yeah, they're getting caught up. They're pretty good size and they're getting caught up in the hole. So let's let's see what we got here. Yeah, they're getting caught up in the in the holes.
Hmm. Now there's still more in there. Here there had to be. Well, that's pretty good size for the holes. Now, as you can see, they're getting caught. The tube diameter is kind of small right there. See how that is? And so when they're going to come out, that's where they're getting caught up. Is in the outlet portion that's right at the tank. So those are a pretty decent sized stone. And as they're coming up through the thing, they just get caught there. And here's one that I fished out. So as you can see, for the diameter of the holes, these are pretty good size and they just got caught up. Well, there you have it, guys. A nice sweeper. Um, sorry, I couldn't do a better test than that. Stones were actually a little too big. Uh, and so that didn't work out too well. 